2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Valspar Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? Never easy going to bed with the lead and they're out here today. It's probably weighing on them a little bit. I gotta say though, this player has been playing well. That's why they have the lead. So they have to be excited and they have to like their chances going to this final round. Can't wait to see how today's play plays out. Time to get to the action. And let's see what he can do here today. That's an awful error. Second shot here on the first. Well, the putter's going to be coming out of the bag, but it's still going to be a long way from the hole. They're a long way from the hole here. Work to be done. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpass score. I can't ever recall him making a Birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, Birdie on the first, great job. And now that finds him in first place. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Downhill tee shot, you want to keep your tee shot out to the right as best you can to take out the trees that hug the left-hand side. Green sits well above the player's second shot. They won't see how close they hit it from the fairway. Where did that come from? That's not his style. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? And from about 105 yards... Let's hope this one gets a good lie because it's heading towards the rough. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. And here we are with the third shot. Ooh, that almost went down. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Hey, nice looking line. And in it goes for the par. He sits in first position. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. That's tiny. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Got to make sure to control the flight here because the wind was well, straight into their face. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. 
Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones, right on eight feet. Little birdie look in here. It's on a good line. Wow, they certainly got out of the right side of bed today. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Teeing off here at the fourth. This is a challenging par three, no doubt about it, Luke. This green pitches from right to left and from front to back, making it almost impossible to get it super close unless you have a perfect number into this par three. Good shot there. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. Has to put this one downhill. Oh, you know you want to. Well, what a lovely putt to make. I like it. Two in a row. And let's have one more look at that shot. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. This is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. As we head now to the par five next.
Well, that's a handy shot. Second shot here on the fifth. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. This part is about 16 feet. Oh, yeah, this is tracking nicely. Uh, he's got a par part here. Let's see if he can make it. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. This is probably the hardest fairway to hit on the PGA Tour loop. This fairway cambers from right to left at a pretty good clip. And unless you work your tee shot from left to right, a high soft shot, you're not going to find the fairway. This is almost impossible. The second shot will be from an awkward stance where the ball is above you or below you to a green that's perched a little bit above the players. Thankfully, though, it's a very flat green. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I didn't think they'd be able to hit that from that lie. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? An opportunity to make their par. Job done. Let's head to the next. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four.
That dog will hunt. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. This one looks like it's going right. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. No green in rig, but a chance to save their par. Didn't that look good for a long time? That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Okay, let's head to the next. Now, five shots up after that hole. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. to be going with the five iron. And that was a bit of a misfire. Not taking enough club to get it there. Well, wonderfully played chip shot. Judging it beautifully. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. We have a par four on this one. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. From about 100 yards. The breeze is moving left to right up there. Going with the 9-iron, I think. They're not a bad shot, that one. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Yeah, 15 feet out. He's been staring this one down. This is their look at birdie. Oh, that's a nice line. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. Here we go, Rich. In the lead, late in the championship. It's exciting. Yes, but if they start thinking about it, that's where the danger happens. They have to keep their head down and keep playing on the front foot if they want to see this thing home. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Straight down the hill, these tee shots go. That bunker down the left-hand side should see a fair bit of action. If you leave it out to the right-hand side, there's some trees that are overhanging and will block out your second shot. This green tilts pretty good from back to front. Nicely done. Second shot here on the 10th hole.
Handy effort, that one. There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. This for a birdie birdie run. Just building upon his advantage, he keeps making the important plays. Kind of like it, two in a row, he's feeling it. Still in the lead now after that hole. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. Not a bad drive. A little bit shorter than Beamer. Not bad. All you can do is hope now, because that was never going down the fairway. Yeah, well, it might not be on the green, but it's right up near the surface. It's an aggressive play, Luke. Like to see it on this par five. Oh, I thought that one was going in. It's always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Just a long iron or a hybrid for this tee shot here. Luke, second shot, we're coming in with some kind of short iron to a green that's protected by a deep bunker in the front. Yeah. Well, you're in the hands of the tree gods now. And just in the first cut here. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This one is chewing fiber. That was a beauty. And a fantastic look upcoming. Oh, a nine foot chance here. He's staring down a birdie putt here. It was on a good line. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And as they leave that hole, Rich, you'd imagine a little bit frustrated after such a great shot in. Now seven strokes up after that hole. This one's a par three. Luke, I've never seen a green in golf repel more golf balls than the 13th here in Innisbrook. It's like it's made out of Gore-Tex. Golf balls just don't stay on it. It is really one of the hardest shots at this Innisbrook golf course.
Now this is some ball striking. Hitting greens in regulation, it's a thing of beauty. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Oh, that had eyes for a lovely shot. Our current leader is enjoying an eight stroke advantage. Let's begin the 14th. Only the biggest hitters in the game can reach this one in two, so any tee shot just out to the right is ideal. That way it leaves an easier shot out to the left for your layup. The third shot will be going downhill to a green that tilts from back to front, guarded by a deep bunker over on the left-hand side. You find the fairway with your second shot, you've got a really good chance to hit your third in there close. Second shot here on the 14th. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Absolutely love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. Like the look of this one. For Eagle. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Well, that's huge momentum there bringing to this hole. Coming off the Eagle. Time to hit another good drive. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Just 10 feet to the cup here. Tracking. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for Birdie. And seemingly an insurmountable lead with just four to play. Gotta like his position. He's currently sitting in first place. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. There's some trees over on the right-hand side that you want to take it just left of to find the center of the fairway. From there, you're going to go in with a mid-iron to a really small green. A high, soft shot is required to hold this green. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. That was a thing of beauty. You got all of that one. From about 130 yards here. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. This putt was about eight feet. This is what they have left for Birdie here. Oh, 
on a nice line. A wonderful putt. He can claim it. Back to back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And after that hole, this player is ahead by a whopping 10 strokes. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Now at the 17th hole. The final challenging par three on this golf course. Good news is, though, is the green funnels in from both the right and left edges. Most shots are going to end up right in the center of this green. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Lining up the birdie putt here. Okay, steady now. And this putt coming up for his par. And well hold. Let's move on. Our current leader is enjoying a 10-shot lead. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Oh, that was pure. Playing from 110 yards out. And choosing the eight iron here. Needs this to kick a bit left. Oh, good shot that. Right inside the range. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. And this is why they put in hours and hours of practice. A putt to win it all. Oh, so close. All right, let's see if they can compose themselves and knock this one in to claim the title. And as that putt drops to the bottom, Rich, they are now the Valspar champion. What a performance. Yeah, what a performance. What a win. I mean, just this player was just amazing all week long.
Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.